First at 10, people of all faiths were invited into Temple Israel Sunday night, not to pray, but to talk about hate crimes here in Oklahoma. Two News Oklahoma's Brody Myers was there and brings us inside that event, Fighting Hate for Good. Rabbi Michael Weinstein told me tonight's big turnout shows the strength of the Tulsa Jewish community. We are blessed to be in our lovely bubble of Tulsa in the middle of the country. The fact of the matter is, there's still a lot of hate and growing hate within our world. Leah White represents the Texoma region of the Anti-Defamation League. She spoke with the audience about hate crimes, groups, and what her organization is doing to combat the trends. She pointed out one interesting stat. Anti-Semitic hate crimes accounted for about 9.6% of all hate crimes in the country. For a percentage of the population, that is 2%. She says the states with the most hate crimes are Texas, New York, New Jersey, Florida, and California. White says there is a fine line between anti-Jewish people and anti-Israel people. She says anti-Israel sentiments are growing. They don't necessarily hate the Jews as a people, but they hate the state of Israel. Is what we're seeing a lot of lately. At the end of the event, Rabbi Weinstein thanked everyone for coming and initially thanked them for their efforts to end hate. Then he backtracked, thanking them for combating hate. But hatred comes in many forms, in many, in many places, in many different ways. But the more we can educate, we can fight it and continue to fight it, but I don't think it's ever going to go away. And Leah White said the best route to combating hate is education. We've linked the ADL website on this story on our website, kjrh.com. Reporting in Tulsa, I'm Brody Myers, 2 News, Oklahoma.